What is up guys, I'm in a video and today I'm going to be bringing back another super team video on why I think the Clippers are the next super team. Before I get into this video, let me get this out of the way. A lot of people on these type of videos comment like, well this is never going to happen, blah 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 blah. Yes, I know most of these teams will not become the next super team, but I do one for every single team. So like, I pull what their best traits are and put those in the video. So, like, this is all hypothetical before y'all comment below. I can already know there's someone commenting, like, oh my god, this will never happen. The Clippers are trash. And they, no. Let, this, this is hypothetic. And also, you're like, y'all are, like, always, I mean, I'm not, I don't care about the people that would comment. Like, I'm just saying. Y'all like, you don't do your research. I actually do, like, hours of research. I just want to get out of that way. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. So, my first reason is actually going to be all the new young talent they got and, like, you know, the veteran and age talent. So, obviously, in the Chris Paul trade, they ended up getting Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, and Sam Decker. Those were the three main ones, at least. I ended up actually getting seven players in a pick. But those are the three main ones. Patrick Beverly, he is 29, but he's obviously younger in a point guard. He's obviously not as good as Chris Paul, but he's almost as good on defense. And he's shown to be, like, a very, very solid point guard. He's probably on, like, the Drew Holiday, if not a little bit higher than Drew Holiday level. And then Lou Williams, he's obviously an elite scorer. And then you have Sam Decker, who's he's only 23 years old, and, you know, he... He still has tons of potential coming up. And then also up-and-coming Dan, like Danilio Gallinari. He actually ended up signing with him, and he has like tons of talent and stuff. Like, he had a breakout season this year. So, yeah, and in my opinion, they actually won the Chris Paul trade. By the way, it's my second reason. And, I mean, most teams, like, when they know that they're, like one of their stars wants to leave, most teams won't give them that much for them because, obviously, they're just going to leave the next year from if their contract's over. Well, they traded Chris Paul, who's obviously one of the best players in the NBA, for a young defensive powerhouse in Patrick Beverly, who averages 4.1 points per game, 3.4 assists per game, 1 steal per game, 1.3 steals per game, and 9.3 points per game, and a solid Sam Decker, who averages 6.5 points per game, 3.7 rebounds per game, and 1.0 assists per game. So, obviously, going to help a big man, you know, just a little bit of scoring, too. And, yeah, so, in my opinion, they won the trade, and also they had obviously got those... Lou Williams, who's a veteran who can shoot really well, and they had four other players and a pick just for Chris Paul. So I do think they won that as Chris Paul is definitely on the decline, in my opinion, as he's getting older. And you can tell he's slowing down. And also, like, what a lot of people actually, I didn't even think would be a reason, but I actually just doing research into this video, I found out that J.J. Redick, he actually, like, in an interview after he signed with the Philadelphia 76ers, he said there was no joy on the Clippers, meaning, like, obviously... The joy was probably stricken because, as you can see in some moments of the games, Chris Paul can be extremely strict, and Chris Paul can be like you know, kind of a jerk at some moments. If you like ever watch one of his games, like he he'll just break out on people and like freak out for no reason, and like so when it's him saying that, and Chris Paul, who's probably the cancer, and Reddick gone, and I mean I don't think Reddick was the problem, but they now have a new starting five, and Patrick Beverly at the point guard, Austin Rivers at shooting guard, Gallinari at the um small forward and you know the same two like star big i mean the star front cart and uh deandre jordan and blake griffin obviously now blake griffin will be the man on that team and i really do think austin rivers will actually be pretty good and like i said gavin Norrie, he averages 18 points per game five rebounds per game and two assists per game and i mean that's really good and he had a breakout season like i said and if he can continue on that along with Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan and Austin Rivers, who's really young and really good, and Patrick Beverly, who's obviously proven to be really good, and, you know, if he can, if they can grow up, that would be huge. And in my opinion, I don't know about anyone else, but they upgraded their starting five drastically from last year. All right, so but they, this is what they did. They replaced Chris Paul with a younger Patrick Beverly. And the only reason I think this could be an upgrade, because Chris Paul, in my opinion, I don't think he's going to get any better. I think he's just going to start getting worse as he's on the wrong end of 30. You know, he's he's just really getting up there. And then Patrick Beverly, he's he's going to be turning 30 this year. But, you know, he's a defensive powerhouse, which Chris Paul was. And he can kind of score. He's kind of all right. And they also replaced J.J. Redick with a Austin Rivers. And Austin Rivers is already on the team, don't get me wrong. But J.J. Redick started over him. And, you know, maybe... Austin Rivers will do better in a starting position. You never know. Actually, we have tons of faith in Austin Rivers. I, I think he kind of has a chance to be really good. And the, the biggest upgrade, in my opinion, from starting five is actually probably Gallinari, as he replaced a Ma Amute, who he's a veteran. He knows he's really old. So, and he only averaged 6.1 points per game, 2.1 rebounds per game, and 0.5 assists per game. So, that is a huge upgrade from that. 
to 18 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, 2 assists per game. Like, that's a huge upgrade. So I think this starting 5 is upgrade drastically. And also you have Sam Decker coming off the bench and those 4 other players that you had. And still some people off the old Clippers coming off the bench. So it's still a really solid team. I bet you they would get probably 4th or 5th like fourth or fifth seed next year so i i mean yeah i think this was actually a pretty easy super team video to make because in recap i mean they got young and veteran talent this offseason they had a really good offseason uh they won the chris paul trade which is so rare because chris paul's contract is expiring next year so it's so rare for someone to give up that much talent just for someone that's going to probably leave next year and chris paul said he wanted to leave and it cost us and then all and then they get this fresh start. They went from this cancerous, unjoy team to now maybe a joyful team. Patrick Beverly, Beverly, and you know Gallinari and all them. I'm pretty sure they're going to mesh very well and you have a pretty nice team. And then obviously, the biggest reason, in my opinion, they upgraded their starting five from like they kept the two biggest pieces, in my opinion, and Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. Now let's, we're going to be able to see what they do. I mean, they, they didn't get too be much of a downgrade because obviously, like, you have to think. Obviously, this would be a way different trade. And, like, I, this wouldn't be a reason if Chris Paul's son is prime. But he's old. He's kind of on the wrong end of 30. So I think this was actually a bad trade for Houston. But that's not what the video is about. It's about if this team is a super team. So, I mean, with them winning a trade with a star that's going out, that's a huge reason to become a super team. Like, that's just good management. So that could have been another reason to have really good management. And, sp and then, honestly, the signing of Gallinari, that was another huge reason. But, yeah, if you agreed with me at any point in this video, guys, Hit the like button, it would mean the world to me. And if you really, really like this video, hit the subscribe button. Now that would just change my day. We just hit 60 subscribers, and it's crazy because we just hit 50 subscribers like, what, two weeks ago? That's crazy. Or maybe a week ago. I mean, 10 subscribers in a week, that's that's unreal to me. And if you didn't like the video, don't hit the dislike button. You don't have to be like that. And, or, unless you do, it's cool. But also, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I already said that. But unfortunately, that is. So, kids, remember, never do your vegetables. Always eat your drugs. Stay safe. Wear your seatbelt. Goodbye. Boom.